China just launched another batch of satellites, and they're not just for show. This is part of Guang, a massive low-orbit internet network aiming to rival Starlink and reshape how the world connects. With thousands of satellites planned in quiet but rapid deployments already underway, China's orbital internet vision is becoming real. But what's the endgame? Guang isn't just a satellite launch campaign. It's China's most ambitious space-based communications project to date. Designed as a massive broadband constellation in low Earth orbit, LEO, Guang is being developed by KASIC, China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, a leading state-owned aerospace organization. The goal is straightforward but massive. Create a global satellite internet network using thousands of satellites, rivaling Elon Musk's Starlink and reshaping global connectivity. This all started formally in 2022, but the pace has rapidly accelerated in 2025. China recently launched a group of satellites identified as Satellite Internet Low Orbit Group 05. With this, the total number of Guang satellites in orbit has reached 39. That number might seem small, but it's only the beginning of what's planned to be a 12,000-plus satellite constellation over time. To hit its first major milestone, China is aiming for 400 satellites in orbit by 2027. By 2029, that number is projected to rise to at least 800. Missing these targets could mean penalties for the companies involved, so pressure is building. The satellites are being deployed using different configurations of the Long March rocket family. Two upcoming missions, scheduled around July 30th and August 12th, will utilize the Long March 8A and 5B rockets. Though the official payloads haven't been confirmed, it's widely suspected they may continue the Guang expansion, especially since past launches were only labeled Guang-related after the fact. This reveals a quiet but deliberate strategy. Keep operations discreet while momentum builds behind the scenes. But this isn't just about national pride or showcasing launch capabilities. Guang is meant to provide a sovereign, space-based internet infrastructure that connects regions with limited access while enhancing overall network resilience. This means providing stable, fast internet to rural areas, high-speed backup communication channels during infrastructure outages, and future expansion into regions outside China. Guang is more than just a technology platform. It's a strategic asset that reflects how digital infrastructure and national priorities are becoming tightly interconnected. What makes this system stand out isn't just the hardware, but the wider implications of who owns, controls, and operates the networks we depend on. And in China's case, Guang represents a deliberate step toward self-reliance and global digital independence. Traditionally, internet infrastructure has depended on fiber optic cables, often undersea, and crossing through multiple countries. But with geopolitical tensions and growing concerns about infrastructure vulnerabilities, a shift towards satellite-based systems offers a new kind of resilience. By using Guang, China could maintain uninterrupted communication across its territory and beyond, without relying on foreign-controlled infrastructure. At its core, Guang supports encrypted, sovereign communications that bypass international internet infrastructure. This provides high-speed, high availability data links that can be vital in areas with limited terrestrial connectivity. It also provides a secure fallback in case of network interruptions caused by natural disasters, hardware malfunctions, or technical issues with ground-based systems. But there's another layer to this. Guang could eventually become a digital export. By offering connectivity services to nations participating in China's Belt and Road Initiative or to regions currently underserved by internet providers, Guang positions itself as a bridge to the future. For countries with limited digital access, a reliable satellite broadband service could be transformative, improving education, healthcare, commerce, and emergency response. From China's perspective, providing this infrastructure to international partners also enhances its global presence. Countries adopting Chinese space-based systems are more likely to align with its standards, protocols, and platforms. That's not just influence, it's integration. And in a world increasingly shaped by digital ecosystems, that kind of integration carries long-term strategic value. While Guang is being developed by a state-owned company, its business model could evolve to include commercial service packages, 
international broadband offerings, and partnerships with local telecom providers. This would mirror what Starlink has done globally, but from a Chinese perspective, blending state-backed deployment with commercial rollout. As China rolls out Guang, it's entering a space that's already highly competitive. But the playing field isn't exactly level, and understanding how Guang stacks up against existing networks reveals both the challenges and opportunities it faces. The current leader in satellite broadband is Starlink, operated by SpaceX. With over 6,000 satellites already in orbit, Starlink provides service in over 70 countries and is expanding monthly. The system offers download speeds competitive with ground-based broadband and latency low enough for real-time applications. Starlink has become essential in remote regions, during natural disasters, and even in high-altitude aviation use. Amazon's project Kuiper, another major player, is, but as of mid-2025, it has launched fewer than 100. According to the contract, Amazon must launch at least half its network, around 1,600 satellites, by July 2026 to meet regulatory requirements. That gives Kuiper a tight timeline and considerable ground to cover. Europe's Utelsat, which merged with OneWeb, brings a hybrid model into the race. With 30-plus geostationary satellites and several hundred LEO satellites, Utelsat already provides broadband services in areas like Ukraine using thousands of active user terminals. Their model focuses on government contracts and enterprise connectivity more than consumer-based offerings. So how does Guang fit into this crowded sky? For one, China's system is not constrained by venture capital or private shareholder interests. It's state-directed, with long-term goals that prioritize strategic value over immediate financial return. This allows Guang to play the long game, building slowly, offering services affordably or even freely, and focusing on geopolitical partnerships as much as commercial adoption. Unlike its competitors, Guang may prioritize coverage in Africa, Asia, and South America, regions underserved by Starlink and Kuiper due to cost or regulatory hurdles. If China can offer low-cost or subsidized terminals and data plans, it could find itself leapfrogging the competition in emerging markets. But with so many constellations launching thousands of satellites, there's growing concern about orbital crowding, radio frequency conflicts, and collision risks. The international community has yet to establish binding rules around satellite traffic management in LEO, and with China now entering the race at scale, the urgency for cooperation is greater than ever. China's Guang satellite network is more than a tech project. It's a bold move to reshape the global internet landscape from orbit. With thousands of satellites planned, strategic goals in play, and competition heating up, Guang represents a new chapter in space-based communication. Whether it becomes a global alternative or a state-driven network with selective reach remains to be seen. But one thing is certain. The race for the skies is no longer science fiction. It's real, it's accelerating, and it's going to shape how billions connect in the decades to come. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.